Hey, hey, YouTube. Wesley Forbes here. This may be a quicker video than planned because my kids are outside. So they may just be busting in here anytime. So I'm trying to get a quick video out. I went to a um, frag swap the other day. And one of the guys was saying, hey, it's been a little while. So I haven't seen any updates of the tank. You know how's it doing and things like that so I wanted to take the opportunity to uh, to do a quick video I didn't realize it had been that long so I gotta check I usually try to get one in at least a, a month or once a month but as you can see I think the tank is really starting to come around and it is definitely um, blossoming with a lot of new corals so uh, another reason why I haven't been posting videos is because I'm really not satisfied with what I've been getting as far as the video quality on the tank I think I need to finally get a new camera but it's just not in the plans right now so um, I am just gonna try to do what the best of what I uh, can right now so uh, please bear with me uh, my son just walked in but he's doing really good with being quiet right now so uh, I'm gonna continue on with the filming here and uh, let's take a walk up on the tank and do a little close-up of what we have here um, I'm gonna start with the um, the Zoa Island because in my last video I was telling you that things were still not opening and that's still the case and I do attribute that to the tank being too clean and so I took my bio pellets offline since then they are trying to open as you can see here the uh, King Midas's have been really recuperating they've been opening up a lot more there's another one in the back over there and it is opening as well as some of these I'm not sure what the name of those are and I have some over here these guys are opening these guys here are opening as well um they're just I think they're just gotta take they're just gonna take their time whenever they decide to open I don't see them melting so they're not going in that bad away and then of course you got these stupid crabs that are always on them the hermits and, so, and they keep them closed sometimes too but um for the most part there are there is signs of things getting better so I'm all for that um, everything else seems to be doing good my uh, toadstool here stool here seems to be going through its little thing where the polyps are all closed up and it kind of shrunk up and I think that's just the natural effect of what happens to toadstools when they go through their thing and they sh he I don't see a problem with it. He'll be opening up and, and getting back to normal soon. Just going to give it some time. My Ephelia section here still seems to be going okay. This one in the center here has been suffering and I'm not really sure why. But all of the other things seem to be doing just fine got this hammer here that's doing good and then the frog spawn in the back there has really um, been doing just fine as you can see here it's really full and the gold torch since I took the bio pellets off it seems like that it really helped him out some of his color has been coming back and he's doing really well uh, and then you have the one up here at the top this one is doing really good uh, let me show you some things um, 
that I picked up at the frag swap. This one, these stuff here I got from my buddy. He was looking for um, some A cans. So I'm not sure why this thing is having a problem focusing, but there's some A cans. I also got him a um, Miami Hurricane Chalice, and then this frog spawn is what I got for him. And um, it's doing really well. He said he's going to pick them up tomorrow. I also picked this piece up here, which is a uh, Aiken Encanada. And it's beautiful. It's, it's on the other side of the Orange Crush Encanada. So since that one was doing well, I put this one up at the same height. I also got this chalice over here which is uh, Pinky Dinky, that's what they call it, and it is doing good, I just put it in yesterday, so, so far so good, and so it's doing well, I have another chalice that I have up here, I forgot what this one was called, but uh, it's doing well so far, also in the back over here I finally and I was looking for this and um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a shot of it because the focus is not going to go right but that there is what they call a starburst Montipora and if you can look close enough you will see that it has yellow polyps that are all over it that open up and um, they are open and I'm very happy to have this piece. I want that thing to just grow super big. Up here, before I leave this side of the tank, I do have a really nice, I want to see if I can back up here and focus in on it. But man, my focus is not doing too good right now. Let me see here if I back up and if I come in on it. This is a um, what they call a ASD Rainbow Millie. And so I'm giving that one a try. And this thing is so beautifully colored. I just can't get it on camera right now. But it is very nice. I'm very happy to have that coral. I'm going to try to back up and do things a little differently here. Because I want to show you guys this piece here as well which is a um red planet and i just want to try to show you guys the polyp extension that i have on this thing and it's really nice just won't let me get in there we go as you can see there it's got that green base with the pink all on it and it's really nice nice polyp extension on it um, I didn't pick that one up but I had that one and so let me show you what else I got from the uh, frag swap I ended up picking up this here Favia I don't know what the name of it is but as you see it's really pink and then it has a green rim growth rim around it just very nice behind it is a sunset Monty and all the polyps are out on that looking good over here is what is called a space invader and it's an LPS and what the camera is not picking up is in the middle bottom all that section is yellow just can't pick it up on the camera like I really want to but that's super awesome I always wanted one of those and I was able to get it at one of the booths that were at the uh, the front frag swap another thing that I purchased was and this one I did purchase because this is as you can see this is not a frag but a nice zoanthid rock with some um, large pallies on the top of it I love that piece it has all different kinds of zoanthids on it 
so it's really nice and it uh, fills in the space um, on the sand over there quite nicely next to the clam which is still doing well I picked up this piece which is a green digitana got that there and the polyps are all open on that next to it is a mystic Monty sunset Monty and the polyps are all out on that looking super great and I did pick up another frog spawn over here has a um, multi heads on that and I got both of that one that I showed you earlier and this one for 40 bucks I mean you just can't beat that I actually bought this one for 30 and it was towards the end of the swap and the, I think the guy just didn't want to pack it up so he said for 10 more dollars do you want the other one and I said you better believe it so that was a good deal on that so actually I really man, I just can't complain right now about the tank I mean it's really starting to come into its own I am still wanting for the um, all my zoanthids to open up but for the most part I'm really happy about the way the tank has been reacting and oh I forgot to mention I did switch my salt up my salt mix I um, was a big fan and used reef crystals for you know almost since day one I did take a break and I tried something else and I didn't like it um, and then I went back to the reef crystals which are fine but I just wanted to try something else and I'm on my second water change using this new salt it's called um, oh my goodness HW reefers or something check on BRS Hey guys, I don't know what just happened. Like I said, this camera just turns on and turns off when it wants to. So, um, I can't remember that salt, but if you check with uh, BRS.com, uh, Bulk Reef Supply, they sell it and it's called HW something reefer. And they're the only ones that actually sell this stuff. And, um, it's it's a little bit of a more premium type salt so um, it does carry a little bit of a premium price but I decided to give it a try and man that stuff mixes super clear and super fast and it's not supposed to leave any kind of residue in your uh, mixing station and I can believe it and only time will be able to tell on that but as for right now it mixes so clean so fast you just have a power head in your uh, mixing container and you put that in and it just clears up super quick I've never mixed a salt like that before so um, you guys might want to give it a try at least look at some of the reviews on it and um, you know judge for yourself but um, as for now I'm quite happy with it I can tell you that nothing has gone bad in the tank since adding it but I'm yet to see if they have if all the effects are going to be there that they claim as far as with the corals and things of that nature alright I'm gonna cut this off here the kids have been doing real good they're out there playing so I did not get uh, any interruptions and I am totally uh, happy with this uh, this video right here I just hope it looks good alright you guys keep doing what you're doing out there with your tanks I've been enjoying them and I have been commenting on them and they all look great so um, signing off from the country reef it's Wesley Forbes See you soon.